Hey makers, in this video we're diving deep into how we transformed the Anycubic Cobra S1 combo into a high speed, high quality workhorse. Using a few smart upgrades and firmware tweaks. We swapped in a lightweight ceramic bamboo style hot end, installed the open source Wrinkles firmware, unlocked clipper support and tuned voltages to fix clogging, false errors and under extrusion. The results? Smooth, fast and reliable prints up to 320 mm per second and we'll talk you through every step. Let's start with the hot end upgrade. We replaced the stock Anycubic hot end with a bamboo style ceramic heater hot end and it's a huge upgrade for several reasons. First, weight. The new hot end is almost 7 grams lighter than the original. That doesn't sound like much, but on a fast moving direct drive tool head, it makes a big difference in print accuracy and motion smoothness, especially at high speeds. Second, heating. The ceramic heater in this hot end reaches temps much faster than the traditional cartridge style. It's efficient, responsive, and maintain stable temps even under pressure. Third, the design. There is no PTFE tube inside the heat brake, meaning no heat creep, no risk of softening or blocking at higher temps, and much cleaner extrusion overall. But small warning, the hot end we ordered from AliExpress came with barely any thermal paste applied that can cause serious heat transfer issues. So we cleaned it up and reapplied some proper Bamboo Labs thermal paste to make sure that thermal contact was solid. Highly recommended if you're doing this mod, don't skip that step. Next up, firmware. We installed Wrinkles, an open source firmware designed especially for the Anycubic Cobra S1 series. And here's the killer feature, Wrinkles unlocks clipper support out of the box. That means you can use mainsail or fluid right in your browser to access printer remotely. You can monitor temperatures and process in real time, adjust settings live, run macros and even start tuning input shaper down the line. But keep in mind Wrinkles is still under development. Some things don't work perfectly just yet. For example, print speed and flow rate values may not show up properly in the web interface. You might run into a few UI glitches here and there. Still for most people, the benefits far outweigh the bugs and updates are rolling out regularly. One major reason we chose Wrinkles was to unlock access to motor voltage settings, something you can't do with the stock firmware. We found that the extruder stepper motor was undervolted, running at just 0.6 amps. That's really not enough for high speed flow, especially with thicker filament path. We bumped the run current up to 1.0 amps and instantly saw improvements. Stronger filament grip, no more false clock detections, better retractions and cleaner starts on layers. This one change made the printer feel more confident and responsive, especially during rapid accelerations. Let's take a look at how all these tweaks add up in real world print quality. Here's a lid we printed before the upgrades you'll see inconsistent extrusion, top layer artifacts, some weak infill joining the outer walls. Now here's the model printed after the hot end swap, firmware upgrade and voltage tuning. The layers are crisp, the surface finish is clean, 
edges are sharper and detail is consistent even at speed. The combination of faster, more accurate heating and proper motor torque makes a huge difference. Speaking about making huge difference, let's hear about our sponsor. Introducing PCBWay.com, the online one-stop shop for all your electronic ambitions. Need circuit technology or small run manufactured parts? PCBs, 3D prints or CNC millings in PLA, ABS or aluminium and a whole rainbow of colour options. Upload your specs, approve the design, pay and await express delivery. Fair pricing, no minimum orders and total control throughout. Contact our design team at PCBWay.com. Now, with all this speed, you do get a bit of trade-off noise. At around 320 mm per second, the printer is definitely louder. Stepper motor buzz harder, cooling fans ramp up, so if you print in a bedroom or shared space, it's something to consider. But for us, the print speed and quality gains made it absolutely worth it. And here is the exciting part. This is just the first round of upgrades. We're already working on cooling mods to handle high speed bridges, input shaping calibration for even smoother prints, refined clipper macros and slicer profiles, and possibly better belt tensioning tuning for long term precision. We'll post updates as we go, so if you're modding your Cobra S1 Combo 2, let us know what's working for you. One quick heads up before we wrap. These upgrades might void your printer's warranty. We're sharing what worked for us, but you're responsible for your own machine. The good news? Ring calls includes a failsafe. If the firmware crashes or fails, it automatically rolls back to the stock firmware, so you won't break your printer. Still, back things up and mod smart. If you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe for more modding guides and drop your questions or print results down below. Thanks for watching and happy printing. Bye!